Welcome everyone to the Marepreneur channel once again. Listen to this sound. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is incredible. This is incredible. Helia is the Audi R8, the latest version and maybe the last model they will ever produce and it makes me truly truly sad. But now look at the details, like total blackout with lime accents used on the, as you can see here, on the front badge, on the calipers and look how huge the brakes are. And yeah, of course, rear calipers as well, on the rear badge here as well, but look at this. This, I think it's a masterpiece, like it's matching all the other details around and it's insane. I think th this is one of the best spec you can find actually now on the internet. This specific model is around uh, 149,000 Swiss francs, I think. And yeah, if you want to do a test drive or whatever, you can do it. You can come to the luxury motors and special thanks to, to the luxury motors for giving me the car to drive. This car is insane. It's one of the best experience I had so far. I didn't drive so many supercars, but look, this car is outstanding. Now, as you can see, yeah, I have some space here around the knees. Even when I'm closing the door, I can still drive it. No problems at all. The only issue would be if you are like on the truck and you want to drive it faster, then it might be a problem to turn the steering wheel around a little bit faster. So yeah, I don't know. For a daily driving, it's not a problem at all when it comes to the leg room. It's not the most comfortable one when it comes to long journeys, long trips, but still you can survive. When it comes to the headroom, yeah, it's not the most comfortable one definitely because if you like stretch yourself, you hit the, the roof, let's say, but still you have like these one, two centimeters here that, yeah, you can play with it. Uh, I'm 205 and yeah, I can drive it. I'm driving it for uh, maybe 30 minutes now and yeah, it's not stressful, it's nothing. It's a bit like uh, annoying when you touch your hairs on the roof, but other than that, you can easily uh, drive it and uh, no problems at all actually. One thing I'm struggling with the Audi is that they don't have the central screen anymore. Like. I find it a bit weird because on my car usually like looking here to see how many kilometers per hour I'm doing and here I'm looking at the navigation system Apple CarPlay. Here everything is on the central speedometer even if you go reverse the camera is here. It's actually driver oriented definitely and I kind of like it but I find it a bit weird sometimes, like, I don't know, all the controls are on the steering wheel as well. You have here this wheel, but uh, I don't know, I'm still struggling a little bit to get used to it. This is maybe the, the most negative aspect of this car, like on a personal level, but it doesn't mean that that's something negative in general for the car. One thing I also love is the carbon fiber inside. You can see it here around the speedometer. Um, we have it also there on the doors we have it here on the central console as well and on the co-driver door as well oh my god guys 
this car is crazy. I, I'm falling in love with it. And I think it really it can be a, a great daily car. I don't see any issue with it. And actually I think from the previous models, from the previous generations as well, uh, most of the Audi R8 owners were saying that it's one of the best daily car you can have when it comes to supercars, of course. So, I don't know, even, even for me that I'm so tall, like I won't struggle to use it as a daily because it's at the end it's comfortable. You have enough space inside like for legs. I don't know, it's not difficult to live with it. Like if I'm taking consideration, I don't know, Lamborghini Huracan that I cannot sit inside, definitely it's a problem, right? The Porsche 911, yeah, maybe not so much because there is enough leg room inside, uh, the headroom as well, because it's like a kind of four seat, right? But with this one, it's it's very comfortable it's super super good the the space inside the comfort i mean i'm super simple honestly i love any type of car if the quality is good if the car it's interesting to me so um i don't know like this one it's it's definitely a nice one if you ask me if i would take the audi r8 over a lamborghini huracan let me tell you something. I don't have a choice because in a Lamborghini Huracan I cannot fit inside, right? Probably, probably I would take still the Audi R8 because it's way, way less expensive than the Lamborghini Huracan. And as you can see, I'm inside. I can fit, I can drive it, I don't have any problem. So when it comes to the comfort and to my needs, let's say, the Audi R8 is the way to go because, yeah, as I said, Lamborghini Huracan, I cannot fit inside. So if you ask me, definitely Audi R8, but also because when it comes to performance, I mean, I don't believe the Lamborghini Huracan is much, much, much better than the Audi R8. And for the price you pay the Audi R8 and the Lamborghini Huracan, I mean, what you get with the Audi R8, it doesn't mean it's, it's worse than the Lamborghini Huracan. Actually, it should be pretty similar, right? So for me, it's a no brainer. I would go with the Audi R8, definitely. Let me just say something for the end of the video. I love this car. This car, it's insane. The sound, it's insane. The quality of the interior, the quality of the exterior, the design. One thing I would add when it comes to to the design of the exterior, it's the spoiler of the performance version. I think it's a touch that this model is missing, but other than that, this car is perfect. Completely back out with the lime details from the Porsche 918. It's insane, it's a piece of art. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button to you doesn't mean too much or two clicks to me, it means a lot. It's helping me to grow my channel and to come with new videos, with new cars, with new reviews and new content for you. Thank you very much for staying with me until the end of the, vid of the video. See you soon. Have a great weekend.